Okay, today we are doing sesame chicken by popular request. The ingredients you will need is brown sugar, dark or light brown sugar, it's whatever your choice is, or just regular sugar, if that's all you have. Sesame oil, regular oil, soy sauce, rice, broccoli, green onions, a Thai red pepper, or you can go with a... Um, with a sriracha sauce, if you like, or Thai, or a red chili paste, whatever you want to do on that. Ginger, garlic, white vinegar, of course, sesame seeds, honey, cornstarch, ketchup. So what we're going to do, oh, and as well, chicken. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with the prep of the vegetables, and then we'll go into the chicken, and we will move from there all right so we're going to start with the green onions make sure your green onions are fresh a little whippy over here they're not wilted all right we're going to keep them in the bunch we want nice thin Thin slices. Okay. What are we using the green onions for? It's really just a garnish. But it looks so pretty on top of that red sauce. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to cut it up. Get it ready for the next time here. Yeah, not for the next time. For the time when we need it. Which will be the end. Alright. Ginger. There is fresh ginger. And then there is uh, ginger paste in the grocery section of supermarkets now. So it is a um, fresh-ish ginger that has been uh, peeled and um, really uh, ground down to a paste. Or there's also uh, fresh cut ginger as well in some grocery stores, you can get that as well. It's not as potent as if you were to do it yourself from fresh. Well, how do you do it? Well, you know, you take a, a nice healthy ginger root over here and you just break it off and you kind of just make it easy on yourself and just take out the little bulbs you get yourself a, a peeler okay and as if it were a carrot you're just gonna peel it there you go all right so once we have all of our ginger peeled then we'll go to the next steps Okay, so it is all peeled. All right, now what we want to do is we're going to chop it into really small pieces. Okay. Now, if you have a food processor, what you do after you've sliced this into small pieces is you can throw this into the food processor and use the food processor to cut it down. If you're going to do that, you also should add the garlic as well. We're going to make a garlic ginger mixture over here for the sauce and for sauteing the chicken uh, before we put the final sauce on it. Okay, so I got the ginger cut up. I got my garlic peeled. Okay, we're going to just get a rough chop of everything. And you're going to mix it all in together. Now, if you have a food processor, it goes in the food processor one, two, three. If you don't, you just take your knife and you are going to just bring it down you take your tip and you slide tip slide okay you bring everything back to the center tip slide tip slide and you keep going on until you have really small well mixed ginger and garlic okay i got my garlic and ginger fully cut up chopped up nice mixture right there okay now we're going to take are hot peppers. Now, if you have sriracha sauce or a red chili paste, you don't need to go through this part. You're just going to take a spoonful of that and add this. But I've got the, the chili peppers over here. Now, what I do with these uh, is I can't get these fresh all the time, but when I do get them fresh, I throw them in the freezer and freeze them so that when I need them, I can use them. It does take away from their potency a little bit, but you know, sometimes you just have to deal with what you get. Now, it's the same deal, okay? We're going to 
just cut up those peppers. Like we did with the onions, really try to get a thin slice and then you're gonna really chop it up. Seeds and all, you do wanna have a little bit of spice. Now, if you are adverse or anyone you are cooking for is adverse to spice, you are gonna keep the peppers out. And this is for those who don't mind a little bit of spice. Okay, so we're gonna just get that all mixed in. So recap, we have the ginger, the garlic, and now the chopped red pepper. We're gonna take a bowl. We're gonna get our mixture in there, okay? It looks like a lot, and it is. We're gonna put in sesame oil, okay? We're gonna mix a little sesame oil into this. A, it keeps it from oxidizing. B, it adds that nice sesame flavor. And C, we're gonna uh, use a little bit more of the sesame oil when we're cooking but uh, not a whole lot. It's gonna be regular oil from here on out. So that sesame oil is really necessary to give us that little bit of a sesame kick to this. When dealing with hot peppers, it is always best to not touch your face, your eyes, or go to the bathroom until you've thoroughly washed your hands. Hot peppers, the capsaicin and the seeds, it sticks to you. And it will stick to you even if you wipe your hands off, it will still be sticking to you. I promise you, if you touch your face, around the eyes, your nose, your mouth, you're going to transfer some of that raw capsaicin. And I promise you, it is going to be very unpleasant. All right? If you go to the bathroom and you touch your genital area, I promise you, that's even more unpleasant. But if you want to try, you're more than welcome. So what I'm doing over here is I'm taking our broccoli, and I am cutting it into the little florets. We're gonna steam this. If we don't have a steamer, we're gonna do, we're gonna throw it into, this, into the saute pan for a little bit prior to finishing off the rest of the sauce. We just want it slightly tender. Now, if you don't have a steamer, you're gonna wanna cut the florets even smaller. The smaller the florets, the quicker they're gonna cook. All right, so we have the broccoli and the green onions, the garlic and the ginger. We have your rice is probably supposed to be cooking now. You have your uh, broccoli. If you're gonna steam it, you have the water getting ready. Now we need to do the chicken, okay? Now what I'm using is boneless, skinless chicken breast. You can use boneless, skinless chicken thighs. You can use uh, wings. You can use, um, chicken leg quarters. It doesn't really matter, but with bone in, it does take a little longer to cook. Okay, so what you want to do, and by the way, the chicken thighs are the more moist. They, they stay moister. But what you want to do is I am cutting this chicken breast into smaller pieces. Okay, uh, about an inch, inch and a half. It, there's no rhyme or, you know, there's no exact number here. Just, and so you can, one or two bites type of size, okay? You see? Nice, nice size chicken pieces there, okay? And uh, what we'll do is we'll get that all cut up, and then we'll go from there. All right. As you can see, our chicken is cut up. So now we're going to get it ready to go into the oil. Okay, and so what we're going to do is we're going to take our cornstarch and we're going to just pour a bunch in. Okay, you want the chicken evenly coated with the cornstarch. All right, now you're going to use your one of the best tools in the kitchen to get this accomplished your hand oh, you. but it actually is the best just stir everything in there get everything nice and coated there's uh something special about cornstarch and the way it feels when it coats your hand it's just like silky smooth 
Don't know why. Don't care why. It just is. I'm sticking with it. That's my story. And that's what's going on here. Okay, as you can see, moving around a lot, but everything is now coated. This is now ready for oil. All right. So we have a sauce pot heating up a little bit of oil on the bottom. It is uh, going to be not high, just a little below high. We're going to start with the ginger, garlic, and crushed hot red Thai peppers. Once the oil is hot, we're going to throw that in, get that sauteed, get it, release its oils. Remember, we also have the sesame oil in here, so you're going to get a, a, a wide range of smell, and it's just going to start coalescing into one. It's going to be amazing. All right, so my oil has heated up, and I'm going to take this mixture, okay, and we want to use the majority of the mixture you made. You're going to, you're going to keep a little bit behind, and that's for a final saute of the chicken before you sauce it up. Again, it just gives that little depth of flavor that we that uh you know you come to enjoy with with that type of uh with this type of dish okay now you can see right in there we've got a little bit of uh of sizzling going on in there and what i smell is garlic and the ginger very prominent also the sesame oil is is uh that that smell is starting to to come through now as well Okay, now I'm smelling the peppers. So now that's starting to come through. We're gonna continue to cook this, okay, on almost high until it starts to brown just a little bit, starts to brown, okay? And that's gonna be the garlic uh, caramelizing over here. All right, we have a beautiful smelling mixture here, okay? Starting to deepen in color because we're, we're releasing it and letting uh, the oils come out. Now, it's always nice to add a little pinch of salt. What that does is it helps release and bring out the, the oils and juices from the garlic and the ginger and the peppers. Just a little bit. You're going to get the salt, not from the salt that you add here, but the salty flavor is going to come from the soy sauce or the tamari that you're going to use. So we don't want to over-salt this. Now, this is where you're going to be like, Uncle Danny, what are you doing? Well, this is how it works. It does come out good, I promise you. At this point, I'm going to add my ketchup. Now, as you can see, I've taken off the top. I mean, this bottle is going in. I'm making some sauce here. Okay? That's why we use so much garlic and ginger and pepper. It's because we're going to put in a lot of sauce. Now... I am not one to waste. We still have sauce in there, uh, tomato sauce in there. So you take your white vinegar and you're just gonna pour in just enough. I can't tell you how much it is because it's really just by feel, but if you look, it's it's really not that much. And we're gonna shake, 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 shake. shake. And what we've done is we've diluted that ketchup now. So now we're gonna get it all out of the bottle. And there we go. Waste not, want not. All right, and then we're gonna mix this in. Now, you're going to be like, hey, Uncle Danny, you really haven't been giving us any measurements. And no, I haven't. And garlic and ginger is, is a really large component. Oh, by the way, when you add the sauce, the tomato sauce, you really got to lower the heat or else it's going to start bubbling and, and hitting you like it just did me, which really hurts. So once you've lowered the heat, you still need to thin it up. And this is where we're going to put in our soy sauce. Okay, if I had to, if I had to give you an amount, I would say, if you're going to start with a small, small amount of food that you're cooking, quarter cup of soy sauce, half a cup 
to three quarters of a cup of ketchup um, and you know four or five cloves of garlic and then uh, about the same amount of ginger as garlic and that's not really going to give you a lot so that's why I'm not telling you to, to do it that way what I'm trying to tell you to do is play it by your ear and your eyes and kind of make a determination what I've told you before in other videos is I'm giving you the basic how to make something <clears throat> but really what it's going to come down to is you can be coming down to your own flavor profiles and you're going to make your own flavor profiles okay this is just the basic recipe and I want you to use it as such just a basic recipe okay you're gonna make this your own like everything you do you're gonna make everything your own you're not gonna be stuck with Uncle Danny's recipe in the end you're gonna you're going to go beyond that okay what I'm doing is adding honey uh, unfortunately the honey has almost run out on this jar so I will be opening another jar but bottom of jar honey is the bomb all right so I'm mixing in that honey okay now you're gonna notice it is really a, a bright red that we have over here so that's not the color we are gonna end up with we're gonna add a little bit of brown sugar if you don't have brown sugar like I said you can use regular sugar um, the whole point is to get a it is sweet and there is a lot of there's a lot of sweetener in here between the ketchup the honey and the brown sugar but it's different kinds of sweetness and then we're adding to it the savory now I still have a a pretty bright red so I by look I know that I need a little bit more of my soy sauce okay so I'm gonna add a little bit more soy sauce. We want a more deeper color. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep this on medium low and we're gonna let everything kind of come together. All right, we got our pan of, we got a pan over here. Now here's where we're gonna use a good amount of oil because we're gonna be frying that chicken, okay? So you wanna get a good amount of oil on that pan. And a little bit more. You can get that on high. You want that nice and hot, okay? And here's where, you know, the fun part comes in. We're gonna get that nice and hot. And when the, when the oil is hot enough, we're gonna get the chicken. All right, our oil is nice and hot. We're gonna do this next part a little bit slow, okay? Because you don't want to get splashed. Hot oil splashed on you is painful. Super, super painful, okay? You don't want to overcrowd it. You can get the chicken in. Gonna let it just fry up, okay? When it gets nice and golden on one side, that's not golden enough. Then you're gonna flip it over to the other side, and then you're gonna let that get nice and golden. All right, so <clears throat> the chicken is done. I've uh, I've taken it out of the pan. We still have a little bit of oil left in the pan, okay? So I'm gonna put in all of that garlic and ginger that I had left over. Okay, I'm gonna get that into the pan now. Okay. 
get a nice, get it spread out, get a nice sizzle going, let it cook, release its oil. Okay. In the background, you see the sauce. I've turned off the sauce. It is a really nice deep red. It's thickened up a little bit. And it's going to be nice and um, thick enough to coat the chicken now. Okay, and we can see we're getting golden brown. So, all we're going to do is we are going to bring the chicken back in. Pour it back into the pan. We're going to bring in some of our steamed broccoli. And we're going to bring in our sesame seed. Get that in there. And now, I'm bringing in four the sauce right on top. You hear that sizzle? Motivate that chicken. Toss it up a little bit. Make sure we're getting a nice even coat of sauce and, and uh, sesame seeds. And what you have there is sesame chicken. Get yourself a nice serving dish. And throw it in. Now, if you're gonna serve it on plate, we're gonna get the rice and the plate and we'll get a nice serving. I'll show you how to do that. If you're gonna just do a family style, you would just throw the green onions on it now like this. And you got yourself a beautiful, serve the rice and the the chicken and you got yourself a full meal. Alright, and that is the final product. You have your rice and your sesame chicken with broccoli and a nice green onion garnish. At this point, I wish you a happy meal and let me know how it came out. And if you have any questions uh, like, what's chicken Uncle Danny? Well, then you're too young to be cooking and um, or too dumb and therefore uh, I don't need to answer that question. Um, the other question that I get is, man, why are you so awesome? Uh, and that would just be because I have the appropriate genes. So any other questions, you can always call me or post it on the, on the um, comment section. But I hope you enjoy.